Here's going to be the big question everybody really wants to know. What is the difference between all of these versions? You know, <laughs> we're talking S4, S4, you know, it, it goes all over the place. And, you know, cloud on-prem, you know, off to industry specific. I, I mean, rise, there's that new one, grow. Um, can you give me a high level of kind of where we're at? What exactly is S4, you know? And where are we going with this? Let's, let's, I would start with Marcus and you add because you have uh, thrown some of the um, topics into, into this, uh, this pot. And um, uh, let's start first with, and, and the book is called S4 on a Cloud. And in cloud, we have two different products. And it's one is the public edition and the other one is the private edition. So this is, I think, important to start with that, to understand that we, uh, of course, we are in the cloud world. We are a cloud company. We are gaining most of our customers in, in the cloud world. But nevertheless, uh, we have two distinct products and they are targeting also two different um, uh, customer segments, I would say. Yeah, just stay uh, at, at this level. Of course, then we have different uh, a differentiation in terms of industries, but maybe Marcus can add uh, something later on. So let's start with the private edition. I mean, the private edition is something which is, what is a product, um, which can be configured and adjusted to a bigger extent. So that's important. You have a lot of flexibility uh, and it's focusing on, on customers or companies which, uh, which have implemented uh, specific or rather complex processes. But when I'm saying this, it doesn't mean that it's the only case. It's like always you have a gray zone, but but just let's say the straightforward right. uh, cases basically that, um, and many of these customers, they are already are existing customers, but uh, we have also many new customers. So it's always like, it's a majority, but we have a lot of others. Yeah, there's always like um, these things. So, um, and, um, and these customers uh, for the private cloud, they have um, often processes uh, which cannot be found really in, in other industries or in other companies. And they, they have some, some specific topics in there and have also, uh, for example, also some compliance topics, uh, use scalability, uh, the, the requirements to adjust things to their needs, large and huge volumes. So these are, it could be, let's say, one some of the greatest, biggest companies um, in the world. And, and we have them. Like uh, BMW, I think this was one of, of the mm -hmm. recent announcement. It's one of the, I mean, everybody knows BMW. They have put now their all their uh, operations on, on the private cloud as they have many of uh, these requirements. Um, and they can, and in the private cloud, they can uh, also, customers can decide if the, if this, uh, if the, if the um, product is run on the SAP data center or on, on a service pro provider like Microsoft Azure or, or, or uh, Google Cloud and so on. And they can choose if SAP provides the services for the cloud or if, uh, or if a partner does it. So this is, let's say, private cloud. Let's say the more complex, more, more tailored, but still cloud, still powerful with all the benefits or many of the benefits which you have in the cloud. Then if you look at the public cloud edition, this is really a pure SaaS, software as a service ERP solution. Yeah? It is really based on best practices and can be implemented very fast. So we have customers uh, who have implemented um, our public cloud edition uh, uh, within four weeks or so. Yeah. yeah? Yes. And then startups um, are great for that. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, you don't have to bother uh, like, okay, is this really... Uh, um, is this enough for my financial? Yes, it is, definitely. It is a, a full system. It delivers everything what you need. I mean, fast implementation. You have lower initial cost, of course. The, the, the total cost, uh, the TCOs are, are, are uh, lower. So, and then there, you, of course, you can still also configure and extend the solution, but not to the extent as a private cloud, for example. Right. Yeah. And uh, what, what is also important for the, for the public cloud, of course, SAP runs it always, so there is no choice. And you get frequent updates. So we have also monthly deliveries, but uh, like you can switch on uh, functionality and innovations immediately, if you like. So it basically you get fast uh, innovations. Uh, yeah, and then you don't have to take care about three really upgrades. When I do the updates, yeah. and stuff, you, have, you, you, Service you, you don't have any choice. You, you, you get it. Yeah? 
So this is like the, to, to distinguish between private and public clouds, yeah? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as a starting point, I think uh, enough explanation. I, I don't know, Marcus, or, or Kendall, you, you asked about industries, about on-prem and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so the, the one important thing is, um, you, you know, um, kind of you said version. So we, mm. we use by intention, we use addition, yeah, because version is sometimes the meaning, you know, there's a version one and version two. Um, and the one is the old one, the other the new one. So we're saying these are additions uh, just to, to emphasize. What Offerings. <laughs> sometimes I hear that word. <laughs> yeah. So that, um, you know, the, it's two different products. And then we, we have still, um, the on-prem is out there, so you can see S4 as a kind of product family, if you will. And in this product family, there is S4 on a cloud with its two um, editions, which Alma just explains. And then there is, of course, also this on-premise um, 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 product. And on-premise is uh, the traditional way of, of software delivery, um, where um, a customer has its own data center, also provides its own um, hardware, is, um, it, its own network devices, uh, also usually its own uh, skilled IT staff to maintain all these things, also um, then installs the software and operates the, so the so software. So it's more like what they're used to. That's what they're used to. We, we're still supporting this, but you know we, we see a tendency in the market towards the cloud. And uh, we see, as, as Alma said, different customer situations. And therefore, we, we said, um, as SAP, we made the decision, um, we uh, need for, for both customer situations, we need a specific um, product edition. Yeah? And, and that's, that's why we have these three, um, three products under the S4 family.